Welcome to video 23, which is a tutorial on similar shapes. This video is particularly useful for AQA Unit 3 higher paper, and as I said, it's for students who previously sat the foundation who are now trying the higher, so it's aimed at those, although good for anyone who's revising for higher GCSE maths. Okay, we're going to talk about similar shapes. Uh, make a revision card as always with this topic tutorial and then go on to the next video, video 24, where we answer the past paper exam questions. So make some revision cards here. Um, let's start with what a similar shape is. Okay, well what does similar mean? Okay, well in everyday English, similar is something represented by that picture where two things look um, like each other. They're not quite identical, but they're like each other. And I always get Kira uh, Knightley uh, mixed up with Natalie Portman. So in my mind, they're similar looking. Okay, But in math, similar is something actually quite different. So in math, similar is not necessarily look the same. Similar is more like this picture here. This is a picture of Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, how she uh, normally is, and then uh, when she uh, took on the role of um, in Shallow How, so she put on a suit to make her look bigger. So similar is more like that in maths. And what I mean by that is, similar is when one shape is an enlargement of the other. So two shapes are similar if one is an enlargement. Here, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow has enlarged herself, she is similar to her before. It doesn't mean... Um, like it means in English, the shapes look alike. So it has a much more precise meaning. And taking that one step further, that means that if two sh shapes are similar, the angles inside all the shapes are equal, and the lengths of the sides are related by a scale factor of enlargement. Okay, are related by a scale factor of enlargement. So, um, just before we move on into doing some questions, I uh, just want to uh, point out to you what congruent means. Now, congruent in maths is a bit like what identical twins are, something that looks identical to each other. So congruency in maths is something like that. So in that, in that case, um, the shapes are exactly the same and they have the same angles and lengths. Okay, with similar, they have the same angles and the lengths are related by a scale factor. Congruency is identical shapes. It's a bit like identical twins. Okay, let's move on to some questions on similarity. Okay, it says the following, uh, these two shapes are similar and these two shapes are similar. Find X. Now, firstly, just before I go on and do that, let me just show you what similarity means again. So similarity here means this shape has all the same angle. If it's perfectly inside that shape, which it does here, and one is an enlargement of the other. So one, if I enlarged it out, should enlarge perfectly into the other, and it pretty much does. Okay, So that's what similar means. But let's put it back to how it was before. Now, we know that they're similar, so their uh, lengths are related in some way. Now, this length here, the equivalent length on this shape is this one. What's the scale factor? Well, the scale factor is 45 divided by 15, which is 3. That means I times each of the lengths on the small one by 3, and I get the lengths on the new one. So this one here, x must be 9 times 3, which is 27 centimetres. Simple as that. Okay, now these two shapes are also, we're told, they're similar. Now, if I was ever doing this in the exam, I'd just draw the shapes the same way up to make my life easier. So I'd pick that shape up, and I'd just redraw it so it's the same way up as the other one, just so I don't get confused on the sides. And therefore, this one here is 4 centimetres, this is 2.4, and we're asked to find x here. So, these shapes are equivalent. What's the scale factor? Well, to get from here to here, uh, or, or no, to get from here to here, 20 divided by 4 is 5. The scale factor is 5. Let's check it works here. 12 divided by 2.4 is also 5. So what that's telling us is that I multiply the size of the smaller shape by 5 to get the bigger shape. Okay, or equivalently, from the bigger to the smaller, I divide by 5. So if I want to find this one, I know the bigger one's 5, I divide by the scale factor of 5, and I get 1 centimetre. 
And that's the typical questions that come up on similarity and scale factor, etc. Okay, let's take this to uh, the next level and just finish, uh, not, uh, uh, just talk about similarity. With, we've talked about length, but extending this to what happens with the area and volume or mass uh, of similar shapes. Now, I've got myself here a one centimeter cube. That's one centimeter. Okay, and I've enlarged that shape so it's four centimeters by four centimeters back by four centimeters up. So it was one centimeter in each direction before. Okay, so what's the uh, for the so let's fill out a table that um, works out the lengths of each of the shapes. Now the length of the original shape was one, and of the enlarged is four. Okay, so the scale factor of enlargement is four. It's the bigger one divided by the smaller one. Now, what's the area of one of the sides? Let's just work out the area of just one of the sides and compare it to the area of this side here. Well, this is one times one, so it's one, let's put centimeter here, centimeter, one centimeter squared. And this one is four times four, which is 16 centimeters squared. And you'll note, therefore, the area scale factor is 16 divided by one, which is 16. Now the volume is one times one times one, so it's one centimeter cubed. And the enlarged volume is four times four times four, which is in fact uh, 64 centimeters cubed. So the scale factor there is 64. Now, there's a pattern that you can spot from this table and it applies to any um, similar shapes with area and volume. If you know the length scale factor, the length scale factor was 4 times by 4, okay, then the area scale factor, you multiply it by 4 squared, which turns out to be 16, and the volume scale factor, you multiply the smaller volume by 4 cubed to get the new bigger volume. So I didn't even have to count this out here. If I had known the length scale factor is 4, okay, this is times 4, I would know um, that the enlarged shape, well, it, you times it by 4, so it's 4 centimetres. This one, you multiply it by 4 squared, which would give you 16 centimetres squared. And this one, I'd multiply it by 4 cubed, which would give me 64 centimetres cubed. So I can do it by knowing the scale factor of uh, length. The scale factor of area is the length 1 squared, and the scale factor of volume is the length scale factor cubed. Just to note, mass and volume both work in the same way. They both uh, you multiply by the scale factor cubed. Okay, let's take this on to do a question, and then we'll finish there and move on to exam questions in another video. Okay, here it tells you these two triangles are similar. It asks you to find the area of the larger one. Okay. Um, we're missing a, a fact here. This uh, length here should be 3 centimetres. Okay. Now, what's the length scale factor? The first thing you do is work out the length scale factor. It's simply 6 divided by 3. These are sort of the equivalent lengths, which is 2. If you know the length scale factor is 2, the area scale factor is 2 squared, which is 4. Okay. And then if you want to work out the bigger area, you do uh, big area is then 12 multiplied by 4, which is 48 centimetres squared. Okay, and you're done. Okay, it says the volume of these vases are similar. Here we're doing volume. Find, uh, find the volume in litres of the larger one. Now, the length scale factor is... 45 divided by 15, which is 3. Okay, the equivalent lengths, the heights. Okay, so the volume scale factor must be 3 cubed, which is 27. So the big volume is therefore 0 0.7 times 27. And you get yourself... 18.9 litres and you're done and that's it so that's similarity with length area and volume now I encourage you to move on to 
the next video, which is video 24, which are the past paper questions on similar shapes. Thank you for watching.